All right, app. First up, we have Boogie Down Productions, My Philosophy. Yes, yes. This is uh, Very good one. 1988. This is BDP's second album. Yep. What can you tell us about this record? This, I mean, uh, as I'm sure a lot of people did too, the first thing that hooked me on this yeah. was the video. Yeah. And especially with the acapella mm -hmm. intermittently, right, which was right. amazing. You know, the first scene yes. of the video, you see the kids yep. yeah. playing. They put the record on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see the picture of Scott LaRock, I yeah. think, right there. And then he just walks out so casually. And as they're intersplicing the thing, it was just, it, yeah. it was like, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps literally right now thinking about how I felt when I first saw that as a yeah. kid. And then... His raps were just so like merciless. It was so powerful, but it wasn't trying to be tough or like right, evil right, right, or right, mean, right. but it was just so profound. It was crazy. And then just everything that he said was just so dope. And it personified when hip hop was at its purest, absolute purest form because right. it, it, it had grown up from the time period of like, you know, Marley Mall and the Busy Bee and the oh, Willow, one, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, totally, so it, totally. it, 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 but then it wasn't also like, in the, the my favorite era, 93, 94, people were getting like mega OD creative, so things were almost getting like abstract and bohemian. Mm -hmm. But this was like the purest time right. of hip hop, so right. that's what this record personified to me. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of great standout lyrics. I mean, obviously the one that really exemplifies what you're saying is when he's like hip hop and what it meant to DJ Scott, Scott LaRock, LaRock. Yeah. yeah, which is, this is a year after Scott LaRock died. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 87 yeah, yeah. was when he was killed, and then yep. this is 88. So you have to imagine. You know that like what Chris was saying at that point was like, like this is hip hop personified. You know yeah. what I mean, and, and what it really meant to him too. And, and this, the whole thing, man, just the way he raps forever yeah. without like sixteen bar, eight bar hook, sixteen bar verse, eight bar right. hook. You know, it, it was just he would just rap, and like you said, like all the all these lines, every single one of these yeah. lines is like a super yeah. standout line. Oh yeah, you've seen it on T-shirts, or you've seen it on, you know, just it's just yeah. Oh, tons, of tons of samples. Yeah, how many MCs must get dissed? Yeah, yeah. every Black Moon. I mean, like you know, yeah, right there. Um, there's also a line on here that is debated. Is he dissing Run DMC? Well, you know what I'm talking about. He dissed X Clan at, at one point. Yeah, yeah. you must learn. Right. But which one? Which one was supposed to so, be? So th yeah, there's this line where he says, "Some MCs be talking and talking, trying to show how black people are walking, but I don't walk this way to portray wow, or reinforce yeah. stereotypes of today." That's and I just noticed that this evening. Yep. <laughs> like, it's gotta be. I didn't even notice it back that then, but be. but like pre-social media, yeah. like you know, like if if he had done that today, like within 24 hours, they would have been like there would have been a headline on. Any number of websites. Yeah, saying, sure. Is KRS dissing Run DMC? Yeah. I never, I never put that together. Yeah. I never saw that until right now. Yeah. yeah. Boogie Down Productions. My philosophy.